your manifestations. Trust in your success. Because it's faded, Gemini. Look at this, the Wheel of Fortune. Hey there, Gemini. How are you? It's your Force Fairy here. Nice to see you again. Well, Gemini, you know what time it is. It's time for Midwife's Week. So how are the galaxy of Gemini's doing out there? We're going to get the Oracle card first to set the tone for the read today. And just see what's going on with the galaxy of Gemini. So let's get one card out. And this is a general read. So take it resonates and leave the rest. And uh, it's for all Gemini placements. So let's take a look. What we've got for Gemini right there, flipping right out, freedom. Oh, look at that. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness, Gemini. Isn't that a Gemini card right there? The bottom of the deck, love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. Have you changed paths, Gemini? Have you changed paths as the collective is, you're kind of ahead of the game if you, if you have, because I think we're, we're switching paths, that of fear into that of love. And that's what will give you freedom. Well, it just makes sense, doesn't it, Gemini? So, let's get to the tarot and see what the tarot has for the galaxy of Gemini's right there, the moon. You cannot see the future, but that's... Still, it doesn't scare you. That's the freedom. You possess the power and the free will to create your own happiness, even though you might not be able to see. You, you, I believe you can see through the illusion, though. Let's see. What crosses you is, yeah, a decision, a tough mental decision, and that is which way to go. Am I going to continue on the path of fear or that of love? I believe you've, sw you've, you've switched paths. I think you're... You're going the way of love, Gemini, and Perseverance Gardens. The Seven of Wands is what your higher self is saying. Keep on going, Gemini. Keep on going. And the um, focus and foundation is the Page of Swords. Now, this little Page of Swords, for me, is internet. And so with you, Geminis out there, this is any of you that work with AI, that develop AI, that are developing, um, let's say, uh, like courses, content, code is what I'm hearing, software development. This is what I'm really feeling off this page of swords in the recent past. Seven of Pentacles, waiting patiently in the future. Ooh, the magician, aren't you guys the magicians? Mercury energy. Yes, indeed. How you see yourself is taking a leap of faith. Good for you, Gemini. How other people see you is the Page of Pentacles. And this is a, other people see you trusting in your manifestations. That you are beginning to see that you manifested everything that has happened in your life. Good, bad, or ugly, you manifested it just with the power of your thoughts and your decisions. Two swords. Hope and our fear. Queen of Pentacles. And the outcome, two cups. Beautiful. That's a beautiful outcome right there. Are you manifesting the love of your life, Gemini? Let's find out. Bottom of the deck, and that which you might not see. The devil. Are you breaking out of prison? Out of that mental prison? Out of that fear, Gemini? Oh, I certainly hope so. That's what you might not see. So, let's get some clarifiers on this moon, on what you cannot see. And it might be that you have fear, doubt. Ooh, doubt is a big one. I know the battle of doubt. And it comes from that, that imprisoned place. 
that makes you question every decision that you make it makes you double take it makes you um question are you sure gemini is that what you really want to do is that is that is that a smart thing to do gemini like it's that that little voice it's that ego voice versus your soul's voice or your intuition that makes you question yourself and your manifestations and then the more you think about the fear the doubt the what could go wrong that's what you manifest i think you're beginning to see that and that's what's free for you gemini is that you can finally see the devil Ooh, gemini let's get some clarifiers out for this moon card i'm gonna keep going what's the moon card here for for the galaxy of gemini so it's the hermit good 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 you are going deep within, kind of going into hermit mode, maybe to really take a look at the illusions, at the lies, at the conditioning, at the programming, taking a look at the matrix and seeing how you've been conditioned through family, through religion, through education, through systems. And you're really taking a deep look at this and, and, and discovering, seeing, your own wisdom. Six of Pentacles. Taurus energy. Equal give and take. Reciprocity. Are you taking a look at how you might have... I, I'm kind of feeling with this Six of Pentacles today, Gemini, that you've made up excuses for others that they haven't really been bringing what you bring to the table at all. In fact, you're holding all the pentacles, aren't you? You're holding their three pentacles and your three pentacles. And the illusion is that they're bringing those pentacles, that work, that, that energy, that um, attention. It could be on a project, it could be something new online, but they're bringing what you bring to the table and really that's not true. And you might have to make a tough decision as to whether or not they, they get to be on the project, they get to be in your life, they get to um, really be a part of what you're building. Seven of Wands, your higher self. And there you are, Gemini, the lover's card. And it goes along with the crossing energy of a tough decision. And it feels like when it's crossing this moon card, it's a really tough emotional decision. Do I keep moving forward in the way that I've been? Or, yeah, do I take a look at things from a different perspective and choose me first? The lover's card is a choice card. This could also be, um, for you singles, that you continue to persevere and look and search or wait for the love of your life. Now, with this idea of what you, and, and I find it very interesting, what you, there's the idea of, of attracting and working on yourself, on your internal thoughts and feelings, on the internal work as the hermit does, um, and then what will happen in your outside world is that you attract those who have done the work, who are doing the work, who are maybe at the same stage that you're at. And then there's a piece of me that says, no, you have to actively look and seek and be out there and get yourself out there. Because if you're in hermit mode, you're not really meeting anyone. You're not really going out to events or to places where you can meet people who are are I was going to say who are on your level interesting and yet I'm trying not to put people on different levels but at different stages of their journey of their of of their journey instead of levels but you know what I mean I stopped myself for a second there because I really feel you want a partner, if you don't have one, that is really bringing something valuable to the table, like you bring to the table. Okay. 
And when this Seven of Wands is clarified by you, the Lover's card, and the Hanged Man, this is the um, perception, a new perception about who you are, who you're involved with, who you have loving relationships with. And, and the Lover's card is a really divinely guided love that you are persevering with. That thick or thin, this could be a marriage for some of you, thick or thin, you are going to see this through. We've got some majors on. I've got Pisces, two very major Pisces. So you could be dealing with a Pisces. Virgo, another Gemini, just saying. And we got Capricorn, Aries on the table. Now, Page of Swords is your focus and foundation. And it's regarding home. You could be working from home. And the king of wands, I love this. Look at that one, and that's that's beautiful energy of attracting what it is that you want. Leo energy. So your focus and foundation is on being a leader at home, working from home. And it and again, the page of swords is very much an internet card for me. Any of the work that you do is online. And you're taking leaps and bounds. In this area, it could be um, through technology that you are groundbreaking, that through technology, you're taking a look at things from a different perspective and really going deep into what you're creating and if it's good ooh, for humanity. Are you groundbreaking in, in digital or software areas? that people don't see yet with the moon card there. Do you have, whether it be software, apps, um, are you working with open AI? And you're persevering, even though people might be saying, no, Gemini, that's not what we do. No, that can't be done. And you're manifesting that it can be done. Wow, with this different perspective of the hangman. Seven of Pentacles. Let's see what you're waiting for with the Seven of Pentacles. You're waiting to move forward. I really feel with what it is that you're creating. Yeah, and to be able to take action with that Knight of Wands. But you're waiting patiently. I really feel divine timing. To, to timing, it could be for some of you... Um, Getting investors involved. Let's see what you're manifesting with the magician. An ending? And a page of wands. I really see this ten of swords, especially right beside the hermit card, is this is an ending to this indecision with the two of swords, this um, negative thinking, this doubt with the devil being here with that which you might not see and, and really focusing in on manifesting enthusiasm, play, playfulness with this page of wands and attracting, uh, I'm going to say respect with this king of wands and in the recent past, taking action to move this project, this new technology, this new software forward. Because I really feel it's something to do with the internet. I don't know what it is. That's that's for you Geminis to know. And you're taking a big leap of faith. And I really feel that people are telling you, no, you're going to ruin everything that you've built. You're going to ruin this reputation that you have. Or you're they're going to look at you as a fool. And you don't believe this at all. Let's see what the fool has. Yes, you're going to have success. Look at that. You know it. You know it. I yeah, when it comes to work. I know it, you know it. Yes. So this indecision is really coming from, I want to say, outside forces that are trying to, to make you doubt what it is that you're, you're creating, you're building. And this is coming to an end. This, this, these, this negative sort of ideas, thoughts, this doubt. I'm really feeling doubt, 
that which you might not see. And you, you, you might not see in this card that there is a moon on the dark side and the sun on the light side. And it's what you cannot see. And it might be that you might not see the devil working against you. So trust other people who know you, that love you. It could be people that you live with, your, your spouse or partner, your family, that really believe in you with this Page of Pentacles. They see you persevering with the Seven of Wands, taking the high road, and not listening to this doubt. Yes, look at this. Six of Cups. Trust in your manifestations. Trust in your success. Because it's faded, Gemini. Look at this, the Wheel of Fortune. Whatever it is that you are developing, it's faded to be successful. It's faded to work. It's faded to, I'm almost going to say, bring the collective to a higher vibration. Whatever that means to you. That whatever it is that you're working on is for the greater good. Queen of Pentacles, hope and our fear. <laughs> Clarified by the Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> Let's see what this Queen of Pentacles has to say. Patience. Be patient, Gemini. Be patient that this Queen of Pentacles, it could be a mother figure. It could be um, someone that you really feel is taking care of you. Whether it be through the lover's card, at home, it could be a spouse, a mother, or the mother of your children for some of you. This temperance card is being patient with the wheel, with, with what's faded. And this Queen of Pentacles is the take care queen. So this is a hope and a fear. And I really feel that you are hoping that all the time and all the effort, this could be, for some of you, you are the Queen of Pentacles. You are being patient with whatever it is that you're working on um, to come to fruition. And that's your hope. The fear, I don't really feel fear on this one. Not at all. Two of Cups, right above the Page of Wands. Two of Cups and the Seven of Wands. Go back up to the Seven of Wands. You manifested a soulmate. It could be, for some of you, a Queen of Pentacles. So that's um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Sagittarius is on the table. Um, again, I've got a, a strong Virgo energy here today. Pisces is very strong, Cancer. Okay, in Capricorn. The Seven of Wands, go back up to the Seven of Wands. When it clarifies, and we've already got it up here on the main deck, go back up to the Seven of Wands. You have, and it's right above that Magician's Wand. You have manifested, it could be, for some of you, the love of your life. For others of you, a different perspective about this love of your life. This Two of Cups. And this love of your life could have taught you how to love yourself first. Beautiful. Gemini. What a way to end. A beautiful read. And the devil. The doubt. I'm, I'm just feeling doubt. Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords, I believe, is cutting through the doubt, cutting through the lies, cutting through um, the negative uh, programming, thinking. This is cutting through that which you might not see, and that is the doubt, that which you might not see. And this is, this is your softer side, Gemini. This is, um, she knows pain, heartache. This is Libra energy. She knows it. And so she is reminding you to love yourself first, to be able to fill your own cup up so that you can fill the cup up of others. And she's speaking it to you in a loving way. Beautiful. Well, let's get some angel numbers on this. I see 157. Let's do 157, Gemini. I love this for you. This is beautiful. One. 157. When the past comes back to visit, it's so you can let it go and make room to grow. 
surrender and release. And that's exactly what your higher self is saying with the hanged man. Beautiful. Seven, two, one. Let's do seven, two, one. You are establishing your personal relationship with the universe at this time. Previously, you may have felt disconnected from the divine. And that's what the devil does. Disconnects you from the divine with fear. Yes. And with self-love, that's how you reconnect with the divine. When you love yourself unconditionally, Gemini, that is reconnection to the unconditional love available to you through the divine. Yes. Previously, you may have felt disconnected from the divine, but now you really know you are loved. And the Queen of Swords, I believe, is the one telling you this. The Queen of Pentacles is the one showing you this. Beautiful. Oh, Gemini, it's giving me tingles. I see. I see um, 212. 212, Gemini. This is an important time for you to reflect on who you are and who you want to bring to your relationships and ultimately the world. Wow. And that's exactly what I see in the, the Ace of Cups, clarifying the Two of Cups. That you are loving yourself first so that you can bring that, that loving energy to all of your relationships, to your love relationships, to the relationships you have with your children, to relationships you have at work, to all relationships. Beautiful. Because you're taking a look at things from a different perspective with that hang in and going very deep within. Um, with that hermit card to really find the wisdom that you hold and then to be able to share it with the king of wands and move forward with that chariot. This is beautiful. Gemini, this is beautiful. I'm going to do one more. Eight, one, eight, one. The last one, Gemini. One, eight, one. You are being invited to leave behind challenging situations of the past in order to prepare yourself for miracles, magician, fool card. And that's what I see for you, Gemini. And I'm sure I'll see you again. Take care from your forest fairy. Bye for now.